Alright, welcome back to the Way to Pripyat here. I am back in the army warehouses and I've got a bit of explaining to do. Uh, but while I'm doing that, let me go and do some preparations here. So, uh, anyway, it's been a, a little bit since I've recorded anything and uh, to be perfectly honest, it's not because I haven't had the time, it's mainly because I just uh, want to take a bit of a break. You know, sometimes it feels like I'm recording sessions a little bit because I have to, not necessarily because I want to, and, uh, you know, whenever that happens, I just take a break and then it starts to feel fresh again. So, uh, you know, I just took the weekend off, and uh, now back to recording some episodes here. Um, definitely want chem and rad protection for sure. Okay, that's good. That's all I wanted to do here. Uh, never mind. This is what I wanted to do as well. Yes, okay. So I was kind of surprised that nobody complained that I hadn't uh, uploaded... Well, there was one, and I, I use the word complain very loosely here. Uh, it was just a comment about, you know, hey, what's going on with the way to Pripyat? Uh, nothing really. I didn't stop this at all. I just took a bit of a break from it. Uh, I had a bit of an issue with some saves. Uh, I lost a bit of progress in that respect. Do I have... Yeah, I got enough room to put some extra artifacts on here. I definitely want to get another bubble working for me here, but for now, I think we're actually ready to go into the hospital. Uh, anyway, back to the uh, complaining sort of tangent that I wanted to go on here. I've been really lucky with my channel. I rarely, rarely ever have run-ins with, uh, you know, obvious trolls or anything. Occasionally, people get upset about things in the comments. I don't know, but overall, it, I've got a super mature sort of uh, viewer base here. Compared to uh, a lot of the other bigger gaming channels, so for that, I am definitely thankful. Oh, jeez. That was lucky. <laughs> so, thank you guys for being a very mature and, uh, you know, non trolly sort of community. Haven't really had any issues with uh, trolls, other than maybe one that I can recall, but that guy was just sort of an asshole who posted something once or twice and then I blocked him. Anyways, we are going into the hospital and then the Pripyat underpass, and uh, I do have a couple suggestions for this. My first time around, I actually totally got stuck on this, to the point where I had to load like a really early save. So what I recommend here for the hospital, definitely bring along a grenade launcher or copious amounts of F1s because there's going to be a lot of sort of grenade worthy enemies there. And then for the underground, I recommend you bring something with adequate uh, sort of chemical protection because you, you can get away with not necessarily using it, but there are patches that will just eat away your suit completely if you don't have decent protection. So the first time that was my main mistake was uh, bringing just a basic exoskeleton with no real protection upgrades on it. And then of course I didn't have any kind of artifact slots on it, so I couldn't use my meat chunk. Uh, but that's all different now. The loadout I'm picking here is the Auge one. I actually bought this from the trader back in the Freedom Base. Someone, I can't remember your username, again I, I rarely remember these people's usernames, but uh, you'll know who you are. Uh, wanted me to use the Stayer Aug, so here it is, uh, the one with the scope, the A1 version, and then obviously my Mossberg 590, I don't have a huge amount of shells for this, but I don't think it's going to get a huge amount of use. And then my MGL 140, which is going to be my main sort of damage dealer here, with 39, or sorry, 38 grenades, I don't think I have one loaded. Or maybe I have 6 loaded. I guess I do. <laughs> And then I'm bringing the M82A1 as a sniper weapon. I spent about 10 grand on some ammo. I mean, money's not super valuable at this point in the game, so as long as you have the German suit, just uh, I would say go ahead and spend it. Uh, but yeah, so here we go, into the hospital. Can't wait for this. <laughs> it is nighttime, so I'm going to have to uh, change up my strategy here a little bit because the night vision doesn't have a huge amount of range. And there are quite a few human enemies here we might have to deal with. So first things first, let's put on the grenade launcher, make sure it's loaded up. Yep, it indeed is loaded up. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I, I lost a, quite a bit of progress just from, you know, stupid glitches and save errors and that. <clears throat> Mostly my own stupidity, though. There might be some viewers here, so I had to go and do the agriprom underground again. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, great start, right? Just a comical grenade exploding right in my face. Okay, I'm not quite sure exactly anymore where I, I made this thing aim. Well, let me just re-sort of uh, organize my equipment here. Okay. Let me just check this. I believe I made the grenades go right to that sort of little notch that's sticking out. Because there's not really any sort of sights on the top of this thing. And why does it look like we've got... Oh, maybe that's just the beers. Kind of feels like there's a controller nearby. Okay, there was a controller nearby. That is weird. Did not experience that the first time around. I think there's another one here. What? Okay. Wow, that was really stupid of me. Okay, pick up the grenade launcher and get the hell out of there. Jeez. Okay, put that back on. Stop the bleeding. Come on! I'm getting psi zapped by something, or stamina zapped. Oh my god! That would explain it. That would probably explain my problem there, wouldn't it? Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh man, I can tell how this is going to go already. Can you? I think most of you probably can. Now where did I... I came from here. So let's get back to the sort of entrance and sort things out. I gotta get my health back up there. Okay, this is bad news. Let's use the night vision on our suit. If you're playing along here, you can uh, follow my lead because I constantly use our for some reason. Jeez! Where are these side blasts even coming from? I don't really know. Okay, just tucker down here for a moment. There's obviously some dwarves right up the staircase there that I don't really want to deal with this way, but <laughs> I don't really have the luxury of being able to choose the scenario I'm in, do I? This panned out very differently the first time I did this. <laughs> Once again, the Curse of Stalker. Or the Curse of Stalker Let's Playing. Okay, it looks like they... Oh, okay, they're hunting mercs now. I might be able to be safe doing this. Okay, just very carefully come up the stairs. There's a dead controller there. I don't know where his pal is. I don't really care to find out. Okay, they're down this hallway again. I can tell that much. Maybe they're not down this hallway. Where the hell did they go? Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> they're all down there. This is a tough situation, and I accidentally used a first aid kit, which is not very good at all. Those are precious here. Great! Oh my god, okay, give me the... Did I drop that completely? Oh, shit. Okay, let me try and salvage this. It is possible. Okay, I don't, I don't see these guys. Where are they? I don't see him. Okay, someone sees me here. <laughs> oh, perfect. Just perfect. Yeah, and of course, they didn't reload it in time. Okay, there you go. Jeez. Wow, the hit impulse on this thing is pretty high, but I don't want to be wasting this much ammo right off the bat. And I want my grenade launcher back, damn it. Okay, put the put the sniper back on. Please and thank you. Okay. Oh, of course I'm getting a phone call right now. Call later, damn it. I'm in the middle of this. 
Okay, so I decided reloading a save would be the best option for me here. There's a bit of a predicament going on down in this general area. Oh, of course. Jeez. Get out of my face, viewers. This is annoying as hell. I might just have to wait for them to... to get back here, but... Oh, come on. All these stamina saps are getting really annoying. Seriously, where are these coming from? Jeez. Can't even move five feet without getting one of them hit me. Okay, that actually worked out fairly well. That's a, a save-worthy moment. Unless that happens... Okay, let's retreat a little bit here. I don't feel all that comfortable anymore. Okay. Let's use up a med kit and a bandage. Oh, god damn it. Okay, sorry about that. That's really annoying sometimes. <laughs> okay, get back in the stairwell. This is this is going much better this time around. I can easily say that. Okay, launch one up there. There's obviously a dwarf right around here. I might want to even go lower just to save it. Because I still don't feel all that safe. I think there's probably still one right down here. Yeah, I, I can hear him for sure. Luck I just got blown the hell up. Kinda of feels... well, I don't feel sorry for him. Well then, there's apparently mercs. And mutants. Mercs and mutants. Story of my stalker career, right? Okay, seriously, reload this thing a little faster there. Sweet, okay. Please no more mercs around the corner here. Oh, there we go. Now that's why you buy the grenade launcher or you get it as a reward. Super effective versus mutants. Super effective. Okay, now I believe there's still a controller lurking around here somewhere. Okay. There's another dwarf here. Yeah, walked right into my trap, didn't you? Okay, we'll save it on the staircase. I don't have to reload this thing too often. It does hold six grenades, so... That's the main bonus, using this thing. Uh, the six grenade capacity. Why did I do that? Why am I so stupid with my grenades? <laughs> Every time I get a decent launcher or something, I just... Waste my life by using it horribly. Okay, but we'll pull out the uh, the AUG. Make sure it's loaded this time. Yep. It is indeed loaded. And take this guy out nice and easy that way. Okay, come around the corner, buddy. There we go. Okay, so this controller down here is dead. That guy is not dead. Well, he is now, but he wasn't. Sweet. Okay, I don't hear any footsteps. Oh, maybe I do. Oh, God! Oh, that's what happens when you flip out and hit number one. You... you screw up. Or, sorry, hit Z. I brought my detector out. Jesus. I, I need to be more careful here. <laughs> Not necessarily with the actual guys that are shooting at me, but with the, uh, the sort of jerky reactions that I tend to have. Okay. That guy, I can't imagine I killed him with that short burst. Did you just get up? What in the serious hell? That's unacceptable. Kind of want to make sure that guy's dead. Okay, I'll just save it again and hang out around here. Just let them come to me. Seems like it's probably going to be the best option. Unless I just can't aim for some reason. Oh god, get off the stairs. Okay, am I bleeding? No. I accidentally hit F4. Like a complete idiot. Okay. Do this all tactically, scoped in. 
There we go. Get yelled at for hard scoping in Call of Duty, but uh, not in this game. Oh, 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 we got more action here. Okay, let him come to me again. I want to quick save it once more. Can never have too many quick saves, can you? Well, I suppose you could. Got way too many in Far Cry. Because it actually makes dedicated saves in that game. Which is kind of annoying. Another tip I can give you is to actually make dedicated saves often in this mod. I mean, in Vanilla Stalker it's a good idea too, but it's especially important in this mod that you make dedicated saves. And uh, you will not regret, regret it. Regret it. Yeah, sound like a cartoon character sometimes. Alright, I want to take as much ammo as I can. I still feel kind of uneasy about this. I hear things. I don't know if it's just me stepping on guns or what, but I hear clunking. Okay, these guys just had a bunch of AK-74s. 74 U's. Don't underestimate the 74 U in this mod. It is extremely good. Okay, cool sky here. It's definitely dark enough to warrant using night vision. Okay, cool. I don't see anything else down here. That doesn't mean there isn't anything else down here. That just means I could be totally blind. Don't think that's the case. More med kits. I will absolutely take those. That's the one thing I'm sort of thinking I should have brought more of. Med kits. Where the hell did you even come from? Just phase through there? Okay, whatever. Anti rads, that's somewhat useful. Don't think I'm going to need them this session, but uh, you never know. Okay. We're all set to move up, I think. I don't think that was the last of the mercs, but I could be wrong about that. In fact, I think I might be wrong about that. I think that might have been the last of the mercs. I don't know. We'll see. Not going to make any assumptions just yet. F1s, those are incredibly valuable. Almost more so than grenades. So I will absolutely take some of those. Okay. This is definitely a good quick save spot. I feel very uncomfortable around here. Okay, the range on this night vision is hardly ideal. Let's just look around for some stashes. But you know, on the other hand, uh, my first time through here, I was pretty diligent in looking for stashes, and I never really found anything. So, I don't think it's going to be that important to scour this whole area. Let's just try and get through it as as easily as we can. Oh, okay. This might be a situation where using the sniper isn't a bad idea. But I think I can get by without it. Let's just wait for some activity down there. Let's make some movement, try to draw them out. Okay, is that a... That was a guy. Didn't even look like it. This AUG has very low recoil, too. Okay, I don't think this is a good spot at all. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> I instantly regretted running down there. Instantly. 